Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on descriptive research. Now let's start with the definition of descriptive research. Describing any occurrence and its features is the aim of descriptive research. The research studies what rather than how or why something occurs. Moving on, the features of the occurrence or population being studied are described with the help of descriptive research. Questions answering how, why, when the features take place are not answered by this research. Instead, the answer to the what questions is addressed. Descriptive categories are the categorically plotted features that describe the occurrence of the population being studied. The classification of science involving descriptive research is called descriptive science. It includes classifying, explaining, noticing and recording occurrences. Moving on to the characteristics of descriptive research. First, qualitative. A research problem can be accurately described with the help of qualitative research technique. More than being investigational and probing, descriptive research tends to be descriptive. Next, quantifiable. A computable research technique is used by descriptive research that gathers measurable data about the population sample and analyzes it statistically. Physical science uses this frequently while conducting researches. Moving on, further research is based on this. Descriptive research result can be further examined and utilized in other research techniques. These results can inform the next course of the research and the research technique. And finally, uncontrolled variables. Unlike experimental researches, variables in descriptive researches cannot be controlled. Now moving on, why use descriptive research design? First, it analyzes data trend. Second, determines the subject features who is being studied. Third, verifies existing circumstances where the event takes place. Fourth, takes place over time. And finally, there is some sort of differentiation and comparison that can be done. Moving on to the disadvantages of descriptive research. First, there could be incorrect sampling. A sample or case study acquired from a big population is not the prototypical of the entire population. Next, restricted scope. The scope of descriptive research is restricted since no light is thrown on the reason as in the why aspect of occurrences but is focused on what the phenomenon is. And finally, the issue of response and non-response bias. In cases where question seems to be confidential for the subjects being studied, they either answer incorrectly or do not answer at all. Personal biases of researchers towards the subject being studied may affect the result of the study. Looking at the data collection methods in descriptive research. First, case study method. A sample group of individuals, groups of people, companies, events, individual comprise a case study. This group represents the features of a bigger group. The subgroup of this group is a case study. The generalized analysis of the data collected from the case study serves a bigger group. Next comes the survey research method. A widespread technique of collecting information is survey research. A questionnaire or survey is created and passed on to respondents who then provide answers. Usually this is used to acquire data faster directly from the main source. Detailed qualitative and quantitative research is conducted simultaneously. Sometimes surveys can be a mix of quantitative and qualitative research methods. And finally, observational method. The observational technique enables researchers to gather information based on the perspectives of the respondents' features and behavior. The respondents have no direct input in this. Social science research fields, especially psychology and market research, use this technique very frequently. Statistical data is gathered objectively in quantitative observation and the characteristics instead of quantities are recorded in qualitative observation. Here the observations are made and recorded from afar by researchers and conclusions are drawn accordingly. And finally, let's look at some examples of descriptive research. For instance, change in Japanese tourism over the past 25 years. Or major differences between food preference of Asians and the British. Or it could also be which is the most preferred music genre among senior citizens. Or how prominent are cardiovascular diseases amongst teenagers. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on descriptive research. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.